Transformers War of Cybertron Trilogy and this is Chapter 1 Title Siege and you know I saw the trailer I you know I heard this thing was coming out I thought you know at least cover the first chapter of fin of you know the first part I'll cover it give you guys my thoughts my knowledge of Transformers is very limited um, if you want to know what's my knowledge the Michael Bay movies and the Bumblebee. So that's my knowledge of of Transformers. So I'm going to probably come out as a bit, a bit of a noob in this, but that shouldn't be the case for anything. You know, anything that has the word of it should be also a work of arms that I, a newbie, in a way, a newbie, can enter into this world and know nothing but feel satisfied with it. And I will say this, uh, with Siege, with Chapter 1, I'm not going to check out 2 and 3. Because if this, because what this show is, is nothing about exposition. It's nothing about exposition. You know, the characters are just talking in detail. Like, there's action in it and things happen. I'll talk about the action and all that. Things happen and... Yeah, all that, but this is how it's played out to the point it's so much, you know, explaining stuff to the point that it just, it just became boring, really. It just became boring. Like, there's certain things I like of it, like, you know, I like the idea of Office Prime. You know, Office Prime, you know, from the movies, it's normally pictured as this badass, nothing can go wrong character. Well, he is in this kind of doubting. He is like, I'm not sure that if I'm taking the white spot sort of thing, it's pretty much trust and luck and we're pretty much hopefully doing things right. But, outside of that, nothing's really grabbing. Nothing, it's just explaining, explaining, explaining without any sort of engagement to it, to the point when it comes to the final episode, I didn't really care what was going on. Because the characters didn't felt like characters, they just felt, duh, just talking, you know, talking exposition, just talking, explaining stuff. And the action is just mad, really. I think what it is, because they chose 3D animation, and due to the fact it's not the same budget of a Pixar or of DreamWorks or whatever, it's very limited. It's very limited. It's a lot of like one punch and you're done situation. And it's like, really? That's it? Like, when it's a slide battles, it's pretty well done. But the animator, the animation feels like you're just stiff and not that fluent. It's just, it's not, this, it's like, I, I, I'm probably going to get wicked cool. I'm probably going to get like, dude, no, 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 just watch this or watch that, but I shouldn't, you know, it's just, it's just, yeah, I mean, normally I would be like, I'll check out part one and then I'll watch it and cover part two and part three, but this kind of part one, it's kind of just tear me off watching the rest of the series, really, so yeah, just for me, Siege, just a... Nah.